had. So if we're looking to find what 3 is congruent to modulo 2, how do we do this? Well, 3 is equal to 2 plus 1. Okay, so that's a multiple of 2 and with the remainder 1. So 3 is congruent to 1 modulo 2. If we take 5 and we'll work modulo 2 as well because mod 2 is nice and easy. So just let's show you the example. 5 is equal to 2 times 2 plus 1. Okay, so again the remainder is 1. Brilliant. Now let's work mod 4. So 7 is congruent to what? Mod 4. Well, 7 is equal to 1 times 4 plus 3. So uh, the remainder is 3. 7, 7 is congruent to 3 mod 4. And we can check this using our other definition now. So let's do all of these. If we think um, 3 minus 1 equals 2, and 2 clearly divides 2. Okay, um, 5 minus 1 equals 4, and 2 divides 4. So that's fine. And here, um, 7 minus 3 equals 4, and again, 4 clearly divides 4. But now, I want to say, is the number we pick here unique? Do we have to pick 3? Okay. The answer is no. We can, as long as 7 minus, um, sorry, this is supposed to be a 3, minus a, as long as 4 divides that, that implies 7 is congruent uh, to a mod 4. Okay, and that means that we can take, if you think, if we add 4 to 3, so 7 is congruent to 7, mod 4, because if you look, 7 minus 7 equals 0, and 4 divides 0. Um, if 7 is congruent to 11, mod 4, because 7 minus 11 is equal to minus 4, and 4 divides minus 4. And we can keep uh, doing this, and it turns out that not just for 7, for any number, um, a congruent to b mod n is equivalent to a is congruent to b plus kn where k is just any integer so that is a quite nice result that we'll be using quite a lot um, in the future uploads for future problems so this says if a and b are equivalent then a plus an e multiple of b is equivalent and then clearly if a uh, is congruent to to b plus kn, oh, sorry, mod n. Then the implication goes the other way, of course, because uh, this just becomes our, our essentially b, and then this just becomes um, b plus kn uh, minus kn. Okay, obviously that's confusing, I've used the same letters over and over again, but hopefully you know what I mean. Like if it work if the implication works this way, by then just taking off Kn, because that's a an integer multiple of n, it works this way. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's it for this video. Hopefully you're a bit more familiar with what we mean by congruence module of n now uh, n now, sorry. And We'll look at the applications of um, this relationship and yeah, so quite a lot of uh, modular arithmetic and then also solving some uh, equations of specific structure. So thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy, please be sure to like the video 
Uh, if you've got any questions, let me know down in the comment section below. But for now, that is it, and I hope to see you in the next one.